Alright, welcome back YouTube. Uh, I just wanted to get another quick shot of the schematic up here before I continue on with what I'm doing. Uh, this is the same circuit that I've been using throughout all my videos. Um, today I'm going to kick it up a notch. Um, it's been uh, several nights, the past few nights with very little sleep to no sleep. I think I was up till 7 a.m. last night. I had a lot of breakthroughs. Some of which I'll go into detail on um, the next couple videos. Some I'm afraid I will not be releasing uh, till a later date so I can figure out exactly what the hell is going on. Um, but I will say I've made some major breakthroughs in the past 24 hours. Um, and I've actually accomplished my primary goal uh, for constructing these. But I will have to get into that in later videos. So right now... Uh, I have this thing tuned perfectly. It's running off my laptop charger right now at uh, 19 volts. Uh, probably drawing less than half an amp. Uh, I've tried proving that in earlier videos. I'm not going to. I'm not out to do that in this video. If you want to see uh, my proof for current draw, uh, just please check my channel. I'm not trying to pull anyone's leg here. This is all legit. Uh, I just had the Slayer Exciter running at 19 volts, and this is just a breakout from. From the torrent, I just have a lead, a wire lead clamped onto there, and then so I can get some nice, neat breakout arcs from there. Now, this wire right here, right here in my hand, uh, this actually is going to the third prong in my outlet, which is going straight to ground. So, let me move this tripod. You can see over there I have the outlet, and you can see way over there I have the green wire underneath the black plug. The top plug is, um, is the laptop charger and the, the plug behind below it is actually for my cable modem that's not important but what is important is that green wire that you see just sticking out there randomly um, in the plug that's this wire that I'm holding in my hand right here that's the ground um, I've seen a massive increase in spark at with this I'm actually getting a lot more voltage out of this than I initially anticipated um, we're talking 15, 20,000 volts. I'm out for the tip of this torrid. Uh, and you can use a spark gap test to show that. So here's my ground wire. This guy's just plugged right into the third eye of my outlet. You can see. Look at that. Now, for the length of the spark, the spark gap, uh, I think, is it, what is it, uh, a half an inch is like, a half an inch is 10,000 ten thousand volts something like that um, this wire is not a solid wire Ow. this wire is not a solid wire so it's not it's not gonna put out the best beam but as you can see even with this not optimized uh, wire and node I'm still getting a good half an inch of arc up to three quarters of an inch of arcing when I go straight to ground you know when I get even closer it's just a solid plasma um, and that's pretty impressive but watch my finger as I go up and down this wire now it, as I get close to it notice how it, ha how it magnetically attracts to my finger I can actually shake the wire see look you see it actually stuck to my finger there um, every day that I'm playing with these things I'm finding out something new um, last night was just huge for me um, but I'm just gonna go over a couple of the things that I found out as you can see this thing just wants to it's like a it's charged so it'll, it just wants to stick to me or to any piece of metal uh, that I put next to it. As you can see that, this is just my razor knife, uh, sheetrock knife, carpenter's knife. You know, if you've never used one of these, um, I don't know why you're watching these videos. Uh, very popular tool. Anywho, you can see that wire is jumping to touch my finger and whenever it does it hurts quite a bit I've been burning myself burning the living daylights out of my fingertips for the past few days uh, all in the name of science um, there you go you can see look at that look at those massive arcs from my finger to the to the wire but this is what I'm most concerned about and whenever I ground my CFLs now um, you can see them get brighter this guy, this is the 27 water that you've seen in all my other videos. Um, when I connect him to the ground wire, uh, obviously he gets significantly brighter. Um, I increase the wireless range uh, significantly. 
Okay, same thing can be said uh, with LEDs. Uh, I've managed to double the distance at which this meter registers. Um, uh, I believe my previous videos I said I was getting about 80 inches just with this, but if I connect the ass end of this thing to my ground, um, like this, if I ground the butt, butt end of this wand, um, I, I can actually light this wand. Oh, geez. I, I want to say 10, 15 feet away. Uh, with no problem, I can get this guy to light up here. This guy lights up 10, 15 feet away from the coil with ease uh, when I ground this magic wand here. Uh, I'm just getting fantastic output from this circuit now. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and whenever I ground the object I'm trying to illuminate or power, uh, the, the effects are even more pronounced. Uh, this this thing is just fantastic. It, the the circuit just keeps uh, exceeding my expectations uh, day in and day out. Uh, I've been losing a lot of sleep over this. Um, but in my opinion, it's all worth it. I hope you guys use this information wisely. Um, there's a lot of things I have planned in the future I plan on doing with this coil. Um, some things that I was pushing towards. Some things that I was half expecting. Um, and when I actually saw it happen last night, um, I, I was completely elated. Uh, I'm not going to actually get into what I saw happen last night with this coil. But let's put it this way, um, it's in line with other individuals' research, it has something to do, uh, you know, I'm not even going to get into it just yet, because I'm not even sure how I'm going to, I'm probably just going to release it to the public uh, on a YouTube video just like this, and chronal, chronal, um, chronal, eh, whatever. Long story short, long story short, uh, this has an extremely high output, and this spark app, uh, has many, many potential uses um, as far as energy conservation is concerned. Uh, so much for the teaser, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, uh, and I promise you things are going to continue to stay interesting. Um, I know they're really interesting now, but believe me, things are going to get a lot more interesting in the future. Uh, I promise you. So don't forget to hit like. Uh, please sub up. Uh, every sub lets me know uh, that what I'm doing is right. Okay? And that y'all support and appreciate my work. And this is all for you guys, too. This is all for everybody, for the whole world to see um, these experiments. So, I appreciate it if y'all can like and sub up. Uh, feel free to comment. I'm pretty good with uh, replying to comments. Uh, if I forget your comment, if I don't notice it, uh, please don't feel offended or anything like that. Um, it, it is difficult to keep track of everything, but I'll do my best to answer anyone's questions uh, on this video and any of the previous videos. Uh, so, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.